Playing them is a driving force behind making them. Making them is just, it's what I am as far as what I do. It, it, I couldn't separate it. I don't know what the first thing I made was. I, I, probably a bow and arrow actually, or some sort of catapult maybe, but I was very much into mechanics, wood, and just how these things work. The hurdy-gurdy was a beggar's instrument at first, and basically it was considered not really something that was a serious instrument. Not like the violin, it, what you wouldn't see it in, in formal halls, you wouldn't see it in a symphony. But um, that's what I love so much about it, because that just, it defied that. I mean, you watch hurdy-gurdy players now, and they play whole pieces by themselves that would take a whole, you know, a quartet to play. Um, there's a drone string, there's a couple, I guess, traditionally there's a drone string, a couple canters, I believe is pronounced, and um, of course the keys that control one string. Um, oh, the wheel! I mean, I've seen it, I've, I've YouTubed it, I've, I've read about it, but I just did not believe it's just a piece of wood. They, these guys are hiding something, these sneaky bastards. There's something in that wood or something that they rubbed on it. So yeah, I just decided, why not just go and actually make the wooden wheel and try it? Which is such an obvious thing to do. Why not do exactly what the picture tells you to do? I never think that way, you know? So, um, you know, it was the night before. It was, you know, we started this thing that day, and then we finished it that day. So it was about 5 or 6 o'clock when we actually cranked it for the first time. That sounded like the world was ending. You know, this is uh, that happened. And uh, it was exactly what I was looking for. You could probably take my right hand before you took those hand tools away from me and I could still work. But those, I mean, everything about them, just the feel of them, just the comfort level, just uh, beyond broken in, they're, um, they're extensions. So it's, yeah, I could, I could lose everything in this shop, but that wall of tools, they're not replaceable. It is just induction coils, the simplest component of electronics. And it's just these two induction coils that go back and forth, creating a magnetic charge that makes the string vibrate. But yeah, it's, it's aesthetically and sonically and functionally, it's something that I kind of feel is very important, is to stay fluid, stay flexible, and if it's not right, you can always take it down again, because there was no preconceived notion of how it's supposed to look. You can always change it and modify it and always innovate while working. The main reason I do make instruments is because I want to make something completely different sound-wise, technique-wise, that just doesn't exist.